Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jesse, the Couch Movie Critic, and once again, we are back in the kitchen. We're doing an unboxing. Today we're doing an unboxing for the Nintendo Switch copy of Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Super Edition. So from my understanding, uh, per Bella, the Couch Movie Kid, uh, we had to have this. We got it. I originally got her the wrong version. Um, she wanted the Super Edition, so I went and I got that one for her, gave my oldest daughter <laughs> the Standard Edition. But um, this is a Street Fighter Ba uh, style game based on Power Rangers and it is loosely based on Battle for the Grid um, with the inclusion of the villainous green and white ranger Lord Dakin if I'm pronouncing that right. I think they should have named him Draken but that's on me. Um, I won't spoil it for anybody but it's kind of cool because it is starts around the base rangers the ones that I grew up with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and then includes and encompasses all of the rangers in the multiverse so I figured let's do an unboxing of this thing for you guys so you can check it out for those of you on the fence of getting it um, and go from there um, as always guys don't forget to uh, like comment share and subscribe please feel free to reach out my contact information will be in the um, description below um, you can reach me in any way you want with any questions comments concerns if you guys have any ideas or anything you want me to do an unboxing for reach out to me let's let me know what's up let's go ahead and let's get right to it <clears throat> so first thing off I, I love the artwork um i'm loving the red ranger with his original sword i'm loving the villainous pink ranger from you know dakin's camp dakin's over here in the background um this chick over here i forget her name don't really care either zed in the middle the original green ranger my favorite tommy oliver tommy oliver is the man who's worn more ranger colors than any other character in any of the power ranger series i've got the um SPD Blue Ranger, which I find so comical. That's the dog guy that shows up in the meme. His face somehow gets crushed into that helmet. And then you have over here what's cool is Chung Li and Ryu. Um, they do a crossover in the game and they become Power Rangers themselves. And for me, that was the biggest selling point of getting this one. It does come with a full game and four DLC packs. So Maximum Games and it's rated T for Teens. On the side, standard Nintendo Switch Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Super Edition. On the back, <clears throat> got some very simple artwork here. It's Morphin Time. The Super Edition includes all content from the Collector's Edition, all three seasons passes, and all and the all-new Street Fighter pack. Pick current and classic Power Rangers and villains like never before in three versus three tag team battles featuring 23 different playable characters including the latest street fighter crossover characters ryu and chung lee it's got it in another language there real-time tag team summon the megazords for cross platform play so it doesn't matter what console you're playing on you can play with it we went with the switch because that's what bells wanted real-time tag team action includes street fighters ryu chung lee as playable characters and then you've got the standard, you know, play mode, the different styles, how many players you can have. One player when you're doing the console, online, all the warnings, team for team, maximum games, Lionsgate games, Hasbro, Enway, and so on. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Got my trusty little knife. And um, hopefully I don't stab myself again. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Let's take a look and see what it comes with. Go ahead and pop it right on open. And boom, there's, wow, nothing spectacular. <laughs> All the content is included on the game itself. It's also included on the discs, from my understanding, for PS4 and the Xbox 360. Let's go ahead and take a look. That is a phenomenal cover. I love that it's got Zed on there. Let me tell you, as a kid, as a teenager, he was creepy as shit, and he still is. Something about a filleted man. <laughs> what an armored mask that's unnerving to be the bad guy. Nintendo Switch Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Super Edition Teen. Then the standard codes and your standard connector points. So that is pretty much everything. I am really looking forward to Bells is away for the weekend. <clears throat> she doesn't even know that we got this copy just yet. I'm super stoked to play it with her. We did play the um, the collector's edition, which was the one that I got erroneously originally, that I wound up giving to um, Samantha, the couch movie adult, who is my oldest daughter. And um, I will tell you, gameplay can be a little... Um, controls seem like they're a little wonky, um, but... You know, this isn't a AAA game. It's just fun. It's nostalgic for those of us growing up playing, watching any version of Power Rangers. And it's definitely nostalgic for those of us that grew up watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers because of the fact that the core um, villains and heroes are all based around kind of that timeline. And I think that's a super cool thing. And um, 
yeah, it's definitely cool that it's adapted on Boom Comics' um, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. So um, definitely recommend it if you're a Power Rangers fan. If you like fighting games like me and Bella the Couch Movie Kid, <clears throat> it's definitely something fun to play together. Um, me and Sam, Samantha the uh, Couch Movie Adult, um, must have spent got a, like three hours playing. And the game is so brutally difficult. I will warn you now that we wound up having to put it into easy mode to progress in the story <laughs> because um even in the training rounds they don't give you any slack it's you know fight for your life or die simple as that um but there it is guys i just want to share it with you as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and thanks for watching